the news. Brittany Mahomes, the wife of Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, is bringing awareness to the importance of the pelvic floor after she shared to her, her social media followers that she was dealing with a back fracture. Taking care of your pelvic floor is something that some women think about, but can impact everyone. Here to explain is Dr. Caitlin Lipscomb, a pelvic floor physical therapist here in Northern Kentucky and in our area. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. And now, so what exactly, for those who haven't had this conversation, is the pelvic floor? So the pelvic floor is a group of muscles that sits at the bottom of your pelvis, like any other muscles that you have in your body. But these are special muscles that are designed to support the organs that are in our pelvis. So mm -hmm. your bladder, your uterus, abdominal organs above that. It also provides a lot of support for our pelvis, our spine, our hips. Um, it does a lot of important things for bowel, bladder, sexual function, a lot of different functions with the pelvic floor. Now how, um, obviously pregnancy probably yeah. changes everything uh, when it comes to this. How does pregnancy specifically play a part in the pelvic floor? So because the pelvic floor sits at the base of the pelvis here, during pregnancy as that baby is growing, it puts a lot of stress down through the pelvic floor over that nine month span. And then obviously if you have a delivery um, that can cause tearing through the pelvic floor, it can cause damage through those muscles. Even if you have a C-section, you still can have stress down through that pelvic floor through the extent of your pregnancy. There's also a lot of hormonal changes that can affect mm -hmm. how it's functioning. So definitely something to think about when you are thinking about becoming pregnant, pregnant or in the postpartum period. And there are a lot of women and friends who deal with fibroids and things also, mm -hmm. even though it may not be a baby or a pregnancy yeah. that can cause strain there. Talk about who else can be impacted by pelvic floor dysfunction. So any individual could have pelvic floor dysfunction. We all have a pelvic floor, all genders at all ages. So children can have pelvic floor dysfunction that might present as constipation. Um, adolescents could have pelvic floor dysfunction. Men can actually suffer from pelvic pelvic floor dysfunction. I think more often we think about women who are pregnant in postpartum, but really anyone could have issues with it. Things to look for are um, leaking with exercise, if we have pain in the pelvis, pain in the back, if we're having feelings of like heaviness, bulging in the pelvis, constipation, mm -hmm. frequent tri trips to the bathroom, all of those things could indicate pelvic floor dysfunction. And, and we know the issue, Dr. Liscum, but a lot of people are saying, what can I do to fix it? <laughs> this, my back hurts, yeah. you know, everything else. I, I can't laugh sometimes without yeah. <laughs> a little situation <laughs> happening. What are some recommendations for people, should be laughing at that one, <laughs> for knows. people to care for their, their pelvic floor, even if they're not having problems right now? Yeah, so my number one piece of advice, because I am a pelvic floor PT, is to go see a pelvic floor PT. <laughs> we are the experts and we can determine things that you might not even realize that are going on. But other things are to exercise, but to exercise with good form and using muscles appropriately. So a PT is great for that too. Um, but good diet, drinking a lot of water, good bowel bladder habits, you know, all the other things we're supposed to do to be healthy can actually really help your pelvic floor as well. There are specific exercises for yeah. that, that you're like, come see me about that. Yes, <laughs> yes, the Kegel mm -hmm. is what we hear about most. Kegel is actually not the best thing for everyone. So I think that's generally the only advice we might get about our pelvic floor. So that is why it's important to see yeah. an expert because that might not be the best thing for everybody. All right, Dr. Caitlin Lipscomb, thanks so much for being here and Thank educating us me. on this. You can get in touch with Dr. Lipscomb on social media via her Instagram at Dr. Caitlin Lip. We will have that information on our website, WLWT.com. Thanks again for being here with us. Thank you.